Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to draw the top view of architectural plan trees in Inkscape. First, I will show some automated methods, and later, I will show you some quick mouse skills to draw 10 different samples easily, one by one. I will be showing you in a jumbled order. First, I'll start from this one, next this one, next this one and so on. You can download the PDF file of these images on my website. Sample 1. In a new document, draw a circle of 85 mm diameter. Then, set the fill to none, stroke color to black and stroke width to 0.75 mm. Then right-click and duplicate the circle or press Ctrl plus D. Then turn off stroke width scaling and change the size of the circle to 16 mm. Then draw a selection bounding box around both of the circles and center align them both horizontally and vertically. Then, keeping both the circles still selected, go to Path menu and click on Combine. Then, go to the Path menu again and click on Path Effects. Then, select the circles, click on the drop down in the Path Effects panel, and click on Stitch Subpaths. Then, enter 70 for number of paths. Then, enter 0.10 for Start Edge Variance, Start Spacing Variance, End Edge Variance and end spacing variance. Then, click on the drop down again and click on roughen path effect. Here, leave the default values unchanged. Then, go to the path menu and click on object to path. Sample 2. Open a new document or page. Then in the extensions menu, go to render and click on L systems. Then, in the rules, type this code, then, leave other settings unchanged and click on the apply button. After the process is completed click on the close button. Now, you could see that a tree branch like pattern is generated. Next, zoom in and select the tree branch pattern. Then, go to the path menu, and click on break apart. Then, delete the bottom most line as shown. Then, select all the tree branch lines, go to the objects menu, and click on group. Now keeping the branch still selected, make a single click on it. This reveals the controls for rotation and transformation. Now, drag the center pivot to the bottom most point of the tree branch. Then, grab the rotation handle and rotate the tree branch. Then, Press the spacebar as you rotate to make multiple copies as shown. Then, select all of the tree branches and duplicate. Then, move the copy to a new location. Then, go to the object menu and click on ungroup. Then, go to the path menu and click on break apart. Continue these steps a couple of times until all the lines are separated. Now, carefully select and delete the inner lines only. You can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and draw a circle over the lines to select multiple lines as demonstrated. Next, select the remaining lines and group them together. Group the first set of tree branch lines as well. Then, set the size for both of the groups to 85 mm.
Then, change the stroke color of the second group to red. Then, zoom out, select both the groups and center align them horizontally and vertically. Now rotate and adjust the position of the red lines as shown. Then, duplicate the red lines, mirror them, then rotate and adjust the position as demonstrated. Now, select all the lines and ungroup. Then, set the stroke color to black, and change the stroke width to 0.75 mm. Then finally group them together. Sample 3. In a new document or page, draw a circle of 85 mm diameter. Keeping the circle still selected, go to Path Effects panel, click on the drop-down and click on Hatches. Then, change the randomness to 30 and leave the rest of the settings unchanged. Next, draw another circle of 85 mm diameter. Now, align and resize the wavy line to fit approximately half of the circle diameter, as shown. Now move the wavy line to another location. Keeping the wavy line selected, go to the path menu and click on object to path. Then, change the stroke width to 0.75 mm. Next, draw a line using the pencil tool, then, resize and align it, and group it with the wavy line, as shown. Next. Rotate and make multiple copies of the wavy line, as shown. Finally, group all the shapes together. Sample 4. In a new page or document, take a circle of 85 millimeters. Then, turn on the object snap. Then, Draw four lines on the circle, as shown. Now, select these two lines, duplicate it, and move to another location. Then, using the node tool, resize the lines to form a V shape and group them together. Now, place the group on the circle, make four more copies, then, arrange and align as shown. Then, group the V-shapes together. Then, move the circle away. Then, rotate and make copies of the V-shapes, as shown. Then, group all the shapes except the circle. Then, select the circle go to Object menu, and click on Raise to Top. Then, center align all the shapes horizontally and vertically. Then, in the Object menu, go to Clip and click on Set Clip. Sample 5 In a new page or document, 
take a circle of 85 millimeters and zoom in. Then, take the pencil tool, set the smoothing to 80 and draw four lines from the center to half of the circle's radius to form four quarters. Then, draw three more lines in each quarter. Please note that you don't have to create perfect divisions. Now, draw lines starting from the end of each lines already created to the edge of the circle to form flower petals as shown. You don't have to be perfect, so draw the lines gently as fairly perfect as you can. The flower petals need to be non-symmetrical in order to make them look natural. Now, draw more flower petals in between the flower petals already drawn. You might have to undo a couple of times to get the lines as desired. Finally, delete the circle and group all the lines. Sample 6. In a new page or document, take a circle of 85 millimeters and zoom in. Then take the pencil tool, set the smoothing to 30 and draw a continuous uneven bumpy line on the edge of the circle, as shown. Try to create small curves as possible as you can. Then make sure to end the line at the point where you started. This helps you fill in the color if you want. Please note that the circle is just for the reference purpose. Once done, move the circle away. Then, resize the circle to 3 mm diameter, place it on the center of the tree and fill it with black color. Finally, select all the objects and group them together. Sample 7. Sample 7 is just a slight variation of Sample 6. The only difference is that you will need to create some more cloud-like curvy structures inside the tree itself. Sample 8. In a new page or document, Take a circle of 85 millimeters for the reference purpose. Then take the pencil tool, set the smoothing to 80 and draw 8 lines from the center to half of the circle's radius, as shown. Now, draw two branches for each of the lines already created. In the same way, continue to add more branches until you reach the circle's edge. You can also add branches in empty spaces, 
but make sure to connect them with the previous branches. Finally, delete the circle and group all the objects. Sample 9 In a new page or document, take a circle of 85 mm for the reference. Then take the pencil tool, set the smoothing to 80 and draw 8 lines from the center to the edge of the circle as shown. Then, turn off snapping and draw branches on each of the lines already created. Once after you are done with the first line, select all objects and rotate, then create branches on other lines too. Once after you are done with all the branches, delete the circle and group all the objects together. Sample 10 In a new page or document, take a circle of 85 mm for the reference. Then take the pencil tool, set the smoothing to 30, then turn off snapping and draw three flower petals as shown. Now, draw more flower petals in between the flower petals already created. Finally, delete the circle and group all the objects together. Dear viewers, I hope that this tutorial is helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you all in my next video with another awesome content. Until then it's bye from hbninfotech.com.